Hi, this is Brian with Denon DJ, and this is a demonstration video showing you the firmware update process for the DNS 3700. To obtain the update, please go to www.denondj.com and log into the Denon DJ Club. If you haven't already registered your product, please click on register your product here and follow all of the prompts. For those who have already registered, please enter in your username and password here. You will find the product information for the DNS 3700 under your profile page. The firmware update link can be found under the firmware updates section. After you click on the link, your computer will ask you what you would like to do with the file. Choose save or save as and save the update file folder to your desktop. Once saved, locate the folder on your desktop, right click, and choose extract or extract all to extract the contents, and then follow your computer's extraction prompts. The extracted folder will contain a number of items. Double click on the README Upload Instructions document. This document will guide you through the update process. Please read the terms and conditions of End User License Agreement found on page 1. Page 2 shows the update steps. We can skip over step 1 since we've already downloaded and unzipped the update file folder from denondj.com. Step 2 indicates that a USB storage device formatted in the FAT or FAT32 format is required to continue. Please obtain a USB storage device such as a USB thumb drive as it is needed to transfer the update file to the DNS3700. Connect the USB storage device to your computer, then open the extracted file folder on your desktop, then locate the DNS3700FW update file. Right click and choose copy to copy the file. Then paste the file to the root of the USB storage device. Once the copy is complete, safely remove the USB storage device from your computer. Next, turn off the DNS3700. Insert the USB storage device to the USB A port on the back of the machine. Then press and hold the next track and back buttons together and while holding down, power on the DNS3700. Ver up mode will be displayed, then push Q will shortly follow. Press the Q button to confirm the new version number, then press the play button to start the update process. Now updating in don't power off will be displayed during the update process, and the process will take about a minute or so. When the update is finished, main complete and please power off will be displayed. You can turn off the machine and turn it back on to return to the normal mode. Note that if the push queue message never appears, make sure that your USB device is in the FAT or FAT32 formats. If you continue to experience issues, try using a different USB storage device. The firmware improvements can be found on pages 3 and 4 in the README Upload Instructions document. Feel free to contact the technical support department if you have any questions. Thank you.